right, so I'm way up on top of what we call the Overlook. Um, I don't think, have I ever shown you the Mini X? I purchased a Kubota uh, U48-5 Mini Excavator to kind of really help out with a lot of the stuff I have to do here on the property. I don't know if I've actually put it in a video. I know I've thrown it up on Instagram. So this is probably the future spot of houses. It's a ways away, but um, Nikki's already kind of working on where her garden area would be. Her house would be somewhere in this area. And then we have this massive, beautiful kind of view of the property. And then hopefully someday down there is a lake um, on that side of the creek. And then my house would be somewhere over in this area. But what I gotta do today is I've gotta get the Mini X all the way back down where I'm putting the new entry and road in. And so I'm gonna do that today and do some prep, but I thought I'd take you guys along a little bit more with me today in the Mini X than I normally do, which I've never done because I just mentioned that. So this is starting to make sense. No sense at all. Let's go. I need to be on the property in uh, right around 40 minutes. <laughs> and probably a, a quarter tank of diesel. There were some really large, uh, I guess potholes is the best way of kind of saying it. And um, I was able to kind of come over here and knock out those potholes and put some dirt in it. It's not the best way to like level and create roads in any way, shape or form, but it, uh, it's definitely a big help. I mean, there were huge potholes and now it's a nice, you know, nicer. All right, this is gonna take a while. So for me, 45 minutes. For you, a second. All right, one second later, I'm here. <laughs> That's a long drive. Uh, cows are down here, hanging out. This is what I gotta look for, is all these old pipes that are on the property because the new road, the old road is over there. And I'll show you some footage where it gets kind of like a little, I don't know, tweaky when you're trying to come up it. So what I'm gonna try to do is build a new road that's coming a straight shot from the property in to where the shop's gonna go. And technically the county could put a road in there that's like a, an easement there's actually supposed to be. This is the corner of a 640 acre section is what it's called. Um, and I have a quarter section and then an 80 acre. And, and if I got the other 80 acre, then I'd have half a section if that makes sense. But every section has roads going around all four, which is a life goal because then technically on your property, there wouldn't be anyone else on the road side of your property. It'd just be really cool at some point to have. Uh, obviously that won't happen here because these people have been here and established for a long time, but it's just something that would be fun down the road is to have a whole section. Um, so I gotta come through here and grab this pipe. Some of it's really long, so I gotta figure out how exactly I'm gonna move it. And then later, either I'm gonna have to get some sort of blowtorch and cut it. Um, some of it is salvageable. If it's straight enough and usable, you can make fence post out of it or, or post topping, top post, I think is what it's called um, as well too. But for now, not so much. So I'm gonna get this up, get it moved out of the way, work on it a little. I've got a couple of brush piles that I need to put together and just move, just make sure that this area is nice and clear. So anything coming through is not hitting a pipe. Let me see if I have a suction cup where I can uh, let you guys hang out while I don't have to worry about holding you and trying to do these controls. Cause I still only have, maybe 20 hours in this machine. I uh, went ahead and <laughs> cleared off uh, an area for the pad that the pad's not gonna be there anymore. Um, or the shop is, I shouldn't say. The shop's actually gonna be more east now just because of the fall. The fall is too severe. I would just have to bring so much dirt in to kind of level it up. And if you're trying to raise it up and you have a shop that RVs are supposed to pull into, it really shouldn't be that high up. We'll have to see, little by little. I'm figuring it out.
All right, so like I said, I'm really new to this. To actually bend that pipe and now stack it in the thumb, I actually got impressed with myself. And not to have, you know, I gotta be really careful that nothing like breaks off and snaps back and hits the glass or hits me. Uh, I mean, this is heavy pipe. It looks like it's super light because of the way the, the actual mini X is handling it, but it's actually pretty heavy pipe. I've tried to lift a smaller section. It's heavy, so I'm actually impressed. This is a long piece and folding it up was a big help. So now I'm kind of on the top to give you kind of a good idea. So the road is currently over there. It's really like close to the property line and it's technically within what would be a county easement. Um, everyone has assured me that there's no way the county would ever come in and put that road. But they haven't assured me to the point where, hey, if they do put the road, will you give me all my money back for putting in and repairing that road and creating a real road? And they say no. So what I'm doing instead is I'm gonna create an entry that'll be uh, RV specific. And then obviously for all the cement trucks and everything like that, it'll be right, the road's way down there, be to the left of the tree, come straight up here, go through the mini X, and then down to the shop. And we're gonna put 
an RV pad, like a full hookup RV pad over in there that will be for uh, Airbnb if we renovate an RV, if we want to rent it out to someone and they have a nice little view kind of of the pond. So that's where I am with the uh, start of the road project that he will be out here in the next couple of days to really come in and uh, nail things out. And uh, I'm super excited. It's gonna be really nice to have a, a real gravel road that'll come through here. And I mean, like I said, over there, it gets really wonky and steep and it gets really washed out down in the corner. So coming up through this point here, it's not as a steep of an incline just because there's more of it in a way. And then there's also that road that goes over the dam, over the pond, which is kind of nice. So I am going to uh, play around and clear this kind of area out and see what kind of trouble I can get into. And then, um, I don't know, this might be it for the video, but if I come back, then, hey, there was more to show. I just noticed the battery's dying, so I gotta get that nailed in. Nailed in, nailed down, fixed, taken care of, made better, something to that effect. Uh, okay, I'll be back. I am back. Uh, I kind of went a little overboard. Okay, so again, here is the road. It's going to be right through here. I created a little cutout. This isn't the most practical way of doing this. And, you know, when I get my skid steer and I get a clear understanding of, you know, really how to like grade stuff, I'll do a better job. But the idea is being able to create a back end, a very long back end, which is okay because where the RV is gonna be, it will be there for a while. It's not like it's, you know, you're just here for two days and then leave. Um, and then if we renovate an RV, we might set it up as an Airbnb right here, and then that'll stay for a while until, you know, whatever. So I uh, went ahead and created this little area. So that all needs to get leveled off. There's a pretty good fall there. Um, we'll level that off. We'll put gravel there just for the pad. This is all going to be grass um, everywhere, 
but man, this thing really, this mini X is a huge help. So I was able to condense all those burn piles into one big burn pile. Um, I was able to go through and uh, scavenge, scavenger, scavenge, savage, salvage some uh, big rocks that we can use for landscaping later on. I just put them in two piles right here. Um, and then, like I said, got that, but you can see it really needs to be leveled off. And that's really, you know, one of the things I really want to learn is how to level, um, especially, you know, what, 20 foot wide by 60 feet long campground spots. One of my biggest, like, just, oh, I hate is when I go to a campground and the spot's not level and it, you're at a campground and then it takes like so much to get it level, which is really weird. My next video will hopefully be in and around what a crew that really knows what they're doing building the road bringing in an amazing amount i think it's going to be something like 30 loads of rock which is a lot different than 100 loads of something else i have to get later and i'll i'll explain that to you guys later but this is step one in uh getting ready for the new road and i'm really excited about it, it should be really great all right you guys i'll see you next time